Hey guys, Zachary's here. Welcome back to the Outer Worlds. The Charming Gunslinger, and this will be, I believe it's part 11, if my count is correct. Here we are on our ship, the Unreliable, and we have landed on Monarch, which is supposed to be a scary place. So let's go check it out. Hmm, two companions. Which ones am I going to take? I think I'm going to take... Parvati and Vicar, I think. Yeah, let's do that, see how that works out. Pretty excited to check out a new... Ooh! I think we landed in uh, Utah or maybe Nevada. It's hard to tell. Stellar Bay. All right, guys. What have you guys got to say about this place? Are we gonna get in trouble today? Not that I want to. Just seems to happen around you. That's all. God willing. We'll talk later. Let's we'll see if he's gonna be as whiny. Where's my, oh, well, oh, geez. You have a way of sneaking up on people. Me ruminating again. Guilty as charged. What's occupying your thoughts? Death and destruction. Nothing new. Okay. So let's go walk around here, see what's going on. First stop, this terminal. Conspicuously. Hmm. Okay, place terminal. Apparently, uh, can't do anything with that. What is this? Ooh. Ooh, quick, jump. Ow! Okay, guys, don't don't do it. They're stranded up there. Hmm. Let's go talk to Grim. Hey, hold on there. I gotta sign you in. Alright. I don't think I've seen you around. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, right? Sure. Whatever. I'm not here for chit chat. You seem surprised. Well, that is my spaceship on the landing pad right next to you. Um. Say whatever. I'm not here for chit chat. Wait. Don't go just yet. I've been practicing for this. Here goes. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay, home of the freshest Sal Tuna and Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. I am. Prefer to disc travel discreetly, if you know what I mean. Aw, don't be like that. <laughs> I never get to do this part. Please. Don't make me tell you twice. Hey, easy. I won't stop you. Mr. Sandra will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters. Maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? Oh, and if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor? Let's see. What is it? I got this Rizzo's Rangers Toswell poster coming in on the next sublight shipment. Signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? Jeez, why can't you do this yourself, man? Sure, you can ask about your poster. Who's the black hole? This poster sounds pretty valuable. I don't have time for this. Yeah, probably four is the option I should choose, but who's the black hole? That's Bertie Holcomb. Only one of the greatest tossball hackers ever. I wonder if he's kin. Dad had family that worked for Rizzo's. I never got to meet them. Everyone's heard of him, even on Monarch. We still get some of the games. You've been living in a sulfur pit or something? Cryogenically frozen for 70 years. How about you? Yeah, there we go. I actually have been in hibernation for decades. Oh, you're real funny. Guess I don't feel so bad for missing what goes on in the rest of Stellar Bay. This poster sounds pretty valuable. I couldn't really say. I'm just a fan of the game. But the fancy collector types say the more people see these things, the less valuable they are. And I figure my poster's been passed around by more than a few people by now. Sure, I can ask. Thanks a bunch. Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss her. All right, fine. Well, at least we got something to do here. You know, important. Ask about this poster. Groom tomorrow. Let's knock this out real quick. Can't be that hard. Where's she at? Over here. 50. She Really, dude? She's 54 meters from you? And I have to be the one that goes and asks her? Okay, fine. Let's go in here. 
What are you guys doing out here? We're not the best equipped, but scouting for rats keeps us on our toes. Fresh blood at What the hell is this? That is crazy. How often do you have to oil that thing? Hmm. Could I get another advance, Mr. Nandi? Just make sure it's properly logged. I'll note it next to the others, sir. Greetings, and welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries, producers and purveyors of the finest salt tuna in Halcyon. What can I do for you today? What was that exchange about? Money trouble? Or is he not paying you on account of how he tried to fix the thing his own self and busted it even worse, and then said you wasn't fixing it fast enough, so he's docking your wages again? Ooh. Not that I got any prior experience with such. Yeah, I'm gonna say not at all. Mr. Nandi treats us all right and pays us well. I just spent most of my paycheck on a rafted on acid. Huh. It's right. weird. I thought we had a uh, Parvati uh, little breakthrough there with her. You normally blow your money on raptodon parts? Laws, no. Sometimes it's canid teeth or mantis warm wings. Whatever Sebastian has in stock, really. Why are you buying so much from Sebastian? If you've got that many bits to spend, then I've got some trash to sell you. There you go. Oh, I don't need any of it. It's also I can talk to Sebastian. He doesn't get going about much else. I reckon she's got a little bit of a squish on this fella. He's sort of the strong, silent type. Unfortunately, my apartment's kind of filling up with his stuff. And some of the neighbors are complaining about the smell. Hmm, maybe I can talk to him for you? Just ask him on a date. Just ask him on a date. What? Why am I the love advice guru here? I couldn't. What if he says no? Hey! Well, then it'll save you a lot of money in the future. I mean, a no would still be bad, but it won't be quite as embarrassing if you ask. Oh, Mr. Nandi's doing that thing where he breathes through his nose real slowly. I'd better get back to work. Wait, I'm curious. What do you see in Sebastian? He doesn't talk much, but he's got this quiet intensity, you know? Like there's stuff going on inside his head that you have no idea about. Plus, he's got great legs. It's hard to find a man who doesn't skimp on lower body exercises. Ah. Uh, he doesn't miss leg day, does he? Okay. You want to be with someone you can't talk to? Or there, are, there are other fish in the sea, Celia. That's all I need to know. Let's go with number one. You think that's what I'm looking for? <laughs> You're funny. There are other fish in the sea. Not in Stellar Bay. Everyone else who isn't taken either smells like Saltuna or they're my boss. Besides, a man with a good smile and a proportionate upper to lower body ratio isn't something to pass up. Okay, that's all I need to know. Sometimes I get carried away. I'll talk to you later. Alright, didn't I need to talk to her about... What's his name? Did you know the status of his poster? Yeah, I need to find out about his poster. Have you talked to Sebastian yet? What did he say? Am I being stonewalled until I talk to Sebastian? Oh yeah, here we go. Grim asked me to check with you about his tossball poster. You know, sending you is the first bright idea I've seen from that man. Because I told him to stop bothering me about it a week ago. I still don't know anything about it. But if you want to help him, Velma's the one to ask. She's in the warehouse. But I'll warn you. Grim wore her patience thin a long time ago. It's okay. My patience are a little thin right now myself. I'm going to talk to you about Sebastian. Okay, well, I think we're done there. All right, let's go uh, talk to... Velma, Velma or whoever this is here. Yeah, Velma. Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Take it easy, I'm just looking around. What are you talking about, Catherine? Lie, Catherine said she'd shove you in a box if you keep running your react like that. Ooh, let's do that one. Did she now? Well, I can see I was mistaken. Because if Catherine really had sent you, there'd be a lot more expletives in your message. I hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. 
First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. Your chief what? That's a good place to start. Braxton. He's in charge of getting the fish fat, but also making sure they don't get too many tumors. He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals, but he has creative notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. Comes with having a very highly specialized skill that nobody else wants to do. He'll be back eventually. You can't constrain a person's freedom. Don't you have rules about that sort of thing? If you say so. So find him and drag him out by his ears? Yeah, let's do that one. I would if I weren't busy here picking up his slack. Since you don't seem to be constrained yourself, maybe you could check up on him. He lives in the apartments. Tell him Velma said to get his lazy ass down here, or she might start noticing those extra drugs he's been taking from supply. Something else on your mind? Yeah. I'm here to ask about Grim's poster. Is this about your foreman? Yeah, let's start with the poster. Get that one out of the way. This again? I swear, this is the last time I contract for any special requests. You can tell Grim his poster came in. You can also tell him I got a better offer for it. So now it's going to now. That's not cool. That about cover it? Oh, I don't like that. That guy, uh, he was kind of annoying, but he was nice. Alright, who's Nell? She runs the bedding parlor across the way. Nice professional lady. She asked me about the poster once. Just once. Made a real generous offer, too. So it's about the money. She does sound easier to deal with. So it's about the money. Damn right it is. You still have the poster, right? It's staying locked up in my office until Nell shows with her money. I'm gonna steal that thing. She's gonna give Grimm's poster away. Didn't he pay for it? So we, surely we can work something out. Let's talk about something else. Let's do number one. No. I paid Sublight for it. So it's mine. And when Nell pays me for it, it'll be hers. Grimm may have asked for the poster, but it's not his until I take his money. Ah, uh, that's some crooked pull. I mean, I did it earlier with, you know, some of the information I had, but surely you can work something out. Let's talk about it. Let's surely we can work something else out here. If you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. Let's persuade. Work with me. I'm helping you find Braxton, aren't I? You won't do much business if your neighbors hate you. Consider this an investment or bribe. Oh, well, yeah, we're not bribing. Let's intimidate her. You won't do much business if your neighbors hate you. Consider this an investment. I got a feeling you and Catherine would get on like tumors on a pig. Take the poster then. And if I never hear another word about it, it'll be too soon. That's right. You just remember that. All right, so what's this about your foreman? Caleb Herrick runs the autoloader operators. He thinks I don't pay them enough for flipping switches and turning dials. So the job's easy, but you're not doing it? Something smells here. I mean, everything smells in here, but something's fishy. Uh, wait. He <laughs> and his whole crew walked out. Say they won't come back unless I pay them more. I can talk to Caleb for you. Why don't you just pay them more? Surely you can make them come back. Let's talk about something else. Um, why don't you just pay them more? Because we've got a budget, all right? And in case you haven't noticed... MSI doesn't exactly have a lot of spare bits on hand. Surely you could make him come back. Not on Monarch. Sanjar threw out the old work mandates and penalties. That's good, right? Sure. Until your workers start making ridiculous demands. Hmm. I can talk to Caleb for you. Mind slapping him around a little while you're at it? I'm joking. Mostly. Unless you can do it without hurting his job performance. If you can find a way to get him back to work, I'll make it worth your while. Check the Yacht Club. He's usually there. Oh, so leave the bruises where nobody can see them? Is that what you're saying? Let's talk about Caleb. You said Braxton's been stealing drugs. Who's this Catherine you mentioned when I first came in here? Let's talk about Caleb. Unless you're here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again, I've got nothing to say. Okay, no more information. Why can't you give him a pay increase? I think we've already covered that, but let's try that again. I don't have the bits for it, plain and simple. Yeah, that's what I thought. Besides, if I make an exception for him, I gotta do the same for everyone. She's principled, in at least this area. 
I will begrudgingly give her that. Thank you. I think. If Caleb wants to keep this job, he'd better get back to it. I'm about ready to hire sublight contractors at this rate. Oh my gosh, sublight contractors? So if I had Persuade 100, I'd be able to say, if you hire sublight, you'll just give them more control over your business. Okay, but I can't say that. I'm locked. Someone's going to notice your shortfalls before long. You're going to be held responsible. Or are you willing to meet Caleb halfway? Uh, let's ask about meeting Caleb halfway. For running me ragged while he takes an extended leave at the bar? Not on your life. Hmm. Well, someone's going to notice your shortfalls before long. You're going to be held responsible. Maybe so. But I bet you Caleb runs out of bits first. Then you'll have to come back. He says he's got a stash to tide his crew over. Could be he's all talk, but if the money's real, I bet you he keeps it at home. Near the diner. You'd steal from your own people? That's low, man. That's business. Someone's got to keep the lights on. <laughs> and it's my job to turn them off. Let's talk about something else. Let's find out about Braxton. Stealing such a nasty word. Let's call it skimming. And yeah, let's just say I've noticed the sterile biotics we use for the fish would get used a little faster on Braxton's ships. Hmm. Awful nice of you not to say anything. Did you turn him in, or you should have hung that sleaze bag out to dry? Why didn't you turn him in? We're not like those corporate towns where you get fined for sleeping on the wrong side of the bed. Besides, the Spacer's Choice stuff we use is cheap enough. And Braxton knows how to get the Saltuna, fat, and mostly tumor-free. Alright, so who's this Catherine you mentioned when I first came in here? Sublight boss out of Fallbrook. Handles most goods that come in or out of Stellar Bay. Has a mouth like a ground six spacer. Not sure what that means. Alright, I'll talk to you later. I think I got some more missions now. Oh yes. Flower for Sibet. Wow. I don't know what the companion quest. Okay. Okay, we're going to do that later, but let's see here. She's too shy to ask him out. Let's knock that one out real quick. Well, you know what? Braxton isn't showing up. Let's do this Caleb one. Get them back to work, if possible. He's living off a stash of bits. He keeps his home near the diner. Stash was to go missing, he'd have to return to work. Or I could probably talk to him. Not sure. Is there only one option? Let's see here. What do we got here? We got Caleb over here. We got Stash. I think I'm going to go talk to Caleb. I might be able to use my persuasion skills on him. We might be able to work this in our benefit. Or to our benefit. Let's see. Caleb's six meters. What is he on the other side of the wall? Where's he at? What are the chances of all the times and places he could have been born? Oh, he's upstairs. Yeah. We're here. All right. Excuse me. Pardon me. Through here. There's Caleb. Who are these? Talk to Caleb. He speaks for all of us. Caleb's doing the talking. All right. So these are all his crew right here. New face, huh? You from off world? Oh, you don't exactly look like a union leader to me, but okay. Yep. Captain Charlie Zimmer, the unreliable. Yep, Captain Hawthorne, the unreliable. What's it to you? Nothing at all. Just like to be friendly like with newcomers. It's the MSI way. Fair enough. Why would you want to do that? If I see a newcomer, I'll tell them you're by. Uh let's say that we're uh Captain Hawthorne. A ship captain? Well, I'll be here. Let me buy you a drink. Consider it an MSI welcome. Why don't you grab a chair? Sit a spell and revel with us. By the smell, he's been reveling enough for you both already. Yeah, unfortunately, I cannot sit in this game. I can do everything else but sit. What are you celebrating? We need to talk about Velma. What are you celebrating? You and my friends have taken our destiny into our own hands. We're untethered. Free responsibility and worldly cares. Well, as long as we don't run out of bits. But until the windfall's gone, we're riding high. 
See, we just walked out on our work. Had enough, we did. So now we're striking. All right. What could be so bad that makes you walk off the job? Won't you get in trouble for that? Good luck with that. Uh, what could be so bad? It ain't any one thing but the sum of it all. Having to work longer shifts for less bits. And the wages we do earn don't cover as much as they used to. Our supervisor, Velma, goes on and on about quarterly profits and meeting quotas. But that ain't what Sanjar promised us. Velma refuses to negotiate, so we're refusing to work. We won't go back until she agrees to pay us fair and proper. Us on Monarch, we're free from the board, you know? We have the right to lobby for better hours and pay. All right, we need to talk about Velma. Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? Lie. Sanjar's going to fire Velma if you don't go return to work. Ooh, that's a good one. I can do it. Any suggestions for how to put pressure on Velma to negotiate? Velma's threatening to replace you with sublight contractors. Let's lie. I never meant to call for anyone's head on a pike. Velma's not my favorite person, but she ain't been cruel to us. Devil it all. Now you got me feeling sorry for her. Fine. I guess we'll go back to work to save Velma's job. We'll find a better time to negotiate our wages. Tell Velma not to worry. We'll look out for her. There we go. Problem solved. I didn't have to even, like, rip off his stash of bits. Not bad. Not bad. Pardon me. Excuse me. Uh, my gun's big and hard to get through that air. That's that space right there. TWSS. All right. Let's see how well this works out with Velma. I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. Gosh, this old girl's in a rough way. Even old Bess and Edgewater was in better shape than this. Hey, you want to try running a cannery with obsolete machinery? You be my guest. Um, sorry, ma'am. I wasn't trying to be rude. It's just your flanging apparatus isn't making a strong flange, so your sealer isn't sealing right, and... Oh, I see what you're saying. Huh. I'll have to try that. She's an engineer. Anyway, what do you folks need? Apparently, I brought the right one. Uh, let's talk. Uh, let's talk about Caleb. You knocked any sense into him yet? I told him you were about to lose your job. He said he'd come back. Well, that's awful nice of him. Sure wouldn't have expected that. Thanks for your help. You've gotten me out of a tight spot here. Take this for your efforts. Honest work deserves honest pay. Something else on your mind? All right, I think we're good there. Let's go on to the next mission. Is this the Braxton one? Yeah, he hasn't shown up for work in a couple days, so Velma's pulling extra shifts. She asks you to go to his apartment and send him back to the Saltuna fishery. All right, before we do that, I'm going to go run over here and talk to this guy about his stupid poster. Get this taken care of. All right, Grim. Have you had time to check on that poster yet? I keep wondering if it's come in. Give him the poster. You know you are, uh, you really are a little too persistent about this. Just give him the poster. You look at that. The Rizzo's logo is nice and bright, and you can still smell the ink on Mr. Holcomb's signature. I can't thank you enough. Still, you can have the bits I was going to spend at the bar this week. And you know what? Take my old toss ball blocker, too. Never get the chance to use it these days. All right, let's go. Just earn some XP points is all. Let's go see what's up with Braxton. Ooh, an evil gl glowing uh, red building. Possibly could be going wrong in there. The question is, how do I get in there? Probably around this way. Corner, corner entrance. Yes. Someone's been see, I told you. I knew. Okay, talk to me, buddy. Talk to me. I think I'm gonna be sick. Are you all right? Pull yourself together and tell me what happened, man. Smack. While everyone's at work, I've seen all sorts of messes, but this. If you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. That's the apartment I want to go into. Then. I need to go contemplate a hot shower. Okay, buddy. You go. You go deal with this in your own little way. I'm going to go do what I've been doing for 15 years. All right. Where's this freaking bot? Oh, there it is. Sorry. Sorry. All right. You all set up a set up a perimeter. 
separate witnesses and keep a crime scene log. I'm going to get photos. I'm going to draw a diagram and we're going to call the chief and we're going to get crime scene out here. Ah, <sighs> here we go again. Well, let's see here. Let's go. Ooh, probably don't want to be stealing the evidence. Victim. Hmm. I told you. Okay, they're not listening at all. What's this? Magnum. Okay, nothing there. Oh, what do we got here? Toss ball betting slip. This betting slip lists some increasingly bold wagers made for a team called Mostly Colonists. It's from the, the from left field toss ball betting. Oh, I think I see maybe what happened here. What do we got here? Hastily packed suitcase. Several ragged outfits, all the same cut and color, were stuffed into this suitcase. <clears throat> Excuse me. Bit cartridge, only 17 bits. Not worth my time. You guys do not listen at all, do you? Messing up the crime scene. Oh, well. At least they're not puking in it yet. Hmm. Anything else? No, nothing else. We got here a cabinet with some light ammo. Purple berry crunch. Heavy ammo. Hmm. Well, let's see what, we, what happens if we talk to Vicar. I could spend hours reflecting on the secret workings of the universe. Little else in this colony offers such a relaxing pastime. So, tell me what's on your mind. What do you think's on my mind right now, Vicar? The dead body at my feet. Okay, let's check all these papers down here. I don't see anything there. Hmm. How's she doing? That Chief Junlay sure seems well, huh? Oh my gosh. You guys have missed the whole point of what's going on here. The apartment upstairs. Let's see. Start talking to some of these people. Whatever you do, don't mention toss ball to Isaac. You'll never hear the end of it. You know, I haven't seen him in a while. If you got him stuck in an hour long rant about mostly calling us, you'd be must be Isaac down there. Staying long? As you were. <laughs> That's my line. Oh, let's see what's going on here. Nothing new there. Who is this guy? What's he up to? You Her. Me, this lady. A person like that, huh? I'm looking for Braxton. Have you seen him? Braxton? I've never even heard of a Braxton. Got nothing for you. Sorry. Oh, you're such a liar. Persuade. Relax. No one's in trouble. I'm just looking to have a friendly chat with him. Why are you acting so paranoid? Truth. And yes, have you been taking drugs? Look at those eyes. Her pupils need to be a little more dilated, though. Oh. In that case, he told me he was delivering to this house in the ruins south of town. Whole family had fallen sick, and he had some meds on hand. So maybe look for him there? All right, that's all I needed. Hey, <laughs> welcome. Welcome to the day. The day's events. Glad you got caught up there, Vicar. All right. So, still not sure what the deal is with the victim here, but I'm sure maybe we'll find out here in the not-too-distant future. How far do we got to go? 65 meters that way? It's not too far. Oh, we gotta go outside. Okay, that's what it is. I'll be back to you in a minute, Agnes. Gotta go see if Braxton's dead. Unless your boy is Braxton, then I'm already on it. Not every challenge needs to be solved with a gun, but where's the fun in that? Alright, where we gotta go? 100, 200 meters that way? Okay. Got the done mauler. Yeah, I think we can duck and dodge our way over here. 
A lot of Reptodons out here, though. one right there. Colossus. Seems like that would probably be bigger than most. Unless it's an ironic name. Mauler. I think we can get over there. All right, and we made it without wasting any ammo. Mather residence. Interesting. Edgar Mather. Martha Mather. A visitor? What an unexpected surprise. Please, come in. Come in. I, for one, welcome a reprieve from our travels. That is, if you'll have us, kind sir. That's the spirit. Now come in. Make yourselves comfortable. You just feel like the type of guys that are cannibals. This is, this, if, this is the obligatory cannibal family in the story. I'm looking for a man named Braxton. He's supposed to came here. Thanks. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, let's ask about Braxton. I'm afraid we don't get many visitors out here. The Raptodons and Marauders scare off all but the boldest. And if you've braved them, you must be exhausted. Why don't you stay for dinner? Ah, uh, see? Making me a little nervous there. Sure you haven't seen Braxton? I already was delivering medicine to you. I have a feeling Braxton might be what's for dinner. That would be great, thanks. Um, I'll pass. Let's ask the first one. Are you sure you haven't seen Braxton? I heard he was delivering medicine to you. I'm sure I would remember something like that. Now, quit fretting yourself about that. Make yourself at home. Dinner's almost ready. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, hey. Who are you? you Le you're Levi. Okay, let's talk to you. Oh, hello there. You come for... for, uh, dinner? Actually, I was looking for a man named Braxton. Sorry, I'm not real good with, uh, names. Is something wrong? You're a few rungs short of a ladder, aren't you? Uh, is something wrong? It just gets hard to remember things. I recall moments, feelings, but the details slip. I felt like that after my dad passed. Walked around in a haze for weeks. I'm sorry you're feeling that way, too. Other times, it's like there's fog. I... Sorry, have we talked about this before? Maybe I can help you. That's nice of you. I usually feel better after I eat. Mama said dinner's almost ready, huh? I'm gonna leave you alone now. I'm gonna go talk to Mama. Hmm. As soon as I go upstairs and take a look around. Who's this? Lizzie Mather. Oh, hi there. Did you come to bring us more of those rocket candies? Sure, I brought some candies. That's wonderful. There was this other man who used to bring them. Not anymore, though. What can you tell me about this man? Uh, why isn't he bringing any more candies? What's his name, Braxton? Yeah, let's do the why isn't he bringing any more candies. He said they were making us sick. Mom and Papa got real mad at him for that. They went to have a talk with him. Afterwards, they said he wasn't coming back again. What can you tell me about this man? Mom and Papa said he came from the city. When we got sick one time, he brought those candies to make us well again. And they worked. Now we feel better than ever. Mama says they're a gift from the Eternal. Was his name Braxton? I don't know. I'm not really supposed to talk to strangers. Okay. Okay. Maybe I'll see you at dinner. Doubt it. We wouldn't want to intrude. Hmm. Parvati seems to have understood it. Hey, 
What are you doing in my room? Oh, sorry. I was just looking around. Liar. You're trying to steal the last of my rocket candies, aren't you? Mm, your rocket candies? The ones that come in a bottle with a rocket ship on it. Like the other man used to bring. Calm down, I'm going now. You'll freak out if I go in this room, are you? Hmm. This one might be worth picking. Is she right there? Yeah. Is there any more places I can go this way? Oh, there is. Looking for evidence. Looking for evidence. Mather's house key. That's optional, huh? People are creeping me out, man. Hmm. I think I might go... I might go in here. What do you think you're doing? Uh, persuade. Whatever I want. Lying. Nothing at all. Intimidator. Well, let's let's persuade her. Carry on. <laughs> oh, this is outside. It's gonna be like a, a balcony, maybe. It is. Well, this, what was she so freaked out about here? Hmm. Not sure what the big deal was there. I'm, I'm going to go upstairs, though. Pick that other room. Yeah. Well, well hold on. Let's take a look in here see what's in here. There's a bed. There's somebody on that bed, I think. There's someone on that bed. I thought I'd seen the worst of humanity yep. before. I'm gonna be sick. Oh, wow. They've cut them into little pieces. That's wonderful. If Lost Please Return to Ballard Velma. Our current supervisor of MSI Fishery Operations at Stellar Bay. Pick up supper time. Alright. Well, it looks like they're cutting them up and using them as pieces for food. I had a weird feeling. You can always tell the cannibals in these games. And they always have at least one family. Can't have a post-apocalyptic... environment without having at least one cannibal family. Okay. Let's head down and... Confront them with some evidence here. Let me take a look at this thing first. Well, it's pretty good. Throws out some serious damage. Not too bad. Okay. Let's go down and talk to Mama. But what's this? You're tracking blood into the kitchen. Oh dear, you've been nosy, haven't you? Relax, this doesn't have to end badly. Yeah, it's one of my better qualities. The murdering cannibal accused me of being nosy. Attack. Uh, yeah, it's one of my better qualities. <laughs> Damn, they got a crazy cat in this house too. Relax, this doesn't have to end badly. Of course not. What better end for the day than a meal around the family table? And what more noble purpose for you than to bring us together? Why? Or you could just let me go and send me, send more, and I can send more meals your way. I just came out of the decades of hibernation. They can't make for good eating. You're all gonna die together if you don't let us go out of, out of here right now. Uh, let's lie so we get the experience points. Now there's an intriguing prospect. Forgo the promise of a fine dinner now for others down the road. 
Martha, my dear, what do you say? It seems the Eternal shall provide through our new friend. And there we have it. Stop by any time, hmm? Hmm. Well, I kind of want to just kill them all. Be done with it. What do you think? I think we do that. Let me bring out the flamethrower. Nope, that's the minigun. That's the one. Alright guys, you ready? Let's go ahead and save here. Just in case these happen to be ninja cannibals. Alright, anybody have any problems with that? Explain this to folks. Everybody with missing family will wonder if these people. Parvati, they were cannibals. It's okay. Where are we headed? That's better. Ah, there's Husky. Don't need that anymore. I think there's some more stuff up here to steal. Here we go. Gotta get some of these mag picks back. I don't think there was anything in here if I remember. I think I grabbed everything out of here I could. Okay, fair enough. Alright, let's head out of here. Don't feel bad about that at all. Okay. We can go back to Velma here. Tell her what's up. Um, You guys want to destroy these? I think we'll destroy these. We can fight these from down here. It's actually a pretty good spot. Okay, don't worry about it. Just did it for the experience points. Nope, hello. Get up top. It's a little easier to fight him from up there. Kind of running away, isn't it? Why are they running away? It takes a lot of shots from that distance, doesn't it? Hmm. Alright, I want you guys to attack these. Won't let me do that. All right, I think they're stuck up here, kind of. Let's head downstairs, guys. You with me? There we go. Okay, let's go back downstairs. All right, let's try this now. Now they all disappeared. Oh, here we go. Down they go. Everyone all right. 
All right, that was pretty easy. Well, let's head on back and give Velma the bad news. What's your issue? Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like, my like China? Isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Please, you have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I, I just know a raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. Your child is missing. Where'd you last see him? Calm down, take a deep breath, then tell me what happened. Don't you tell me to calm down. <laughs> promised my boy I'd protect him for always. But how can I keep him safe if he's run away? He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about the raptodons, mantisaurs and marauders, the toxic sulfur pools and poisonous glands, but he didn't listen. Oh, law, Captain. A youngster won't last long in a place like this. Please, can't we help? Please, won't you go and find my boy? All right, I'll help you find your son, or did you say there was a reward involved for this request, or why would Tucker run away? That's a good question. Why would Tucker run away? He's been pining for an adventure, says he's tired of living cooped up behind the walls, but he doesn't understand how dangerous it is out there. I warned him, a raptodon would snap him up first chance it got. I just know one's ripped his arm off and is gnawing on his sweet little fingers. He should have listened to his mama. I promised I'd keep him safe here with me. Man, she's got quite the active imagination. Help find your son. Did you say there's a reward or where would he have gone? That's a good question. I'm listening to those awful broadcasts that the iconoclasts put out. I begged Sanjar to put a stop to them. But did he? No. And now I just know my boys run off to Amber Heights. That is, if a manta queen hasn't spooled out and eaten his entrails for breakfast already. All right. What were you saying about the iconoclasts and where is Amber Heights? Let's ask her about the iconoclasts. Low-life degenerates leading innocent boys into a life of danger. Oh, they make it sound so exciting. Like it's noble to risk it all out there fighting for the greater good. How noble is it to worry your loved ones? Not at all, I say. But still they preach their sermons of anarchy and rebellion to anyone who'll listen. If they weren't holed up in Amber Heights, I'd knock them all upside the head. So they have enough power to st keep him locked up or hold up there. But you're worried about the Raptodons getting him. I think he's pretty much enlisted in a militia. But we'll check into it. Where's Amber Heights? Southwest of Stellar Bay. I don't know which is worse. The thought of my son shacking up with the nutty iconoclasts. Or that he never made it. Sprats could be nesting in his rotting body <laughs> alongside the road as we speak. That's probably it. Or, or maybe marauders got him, pulled all his teeth out, crushed him into their drugs and made him snort him. <laughs> oh, the things that could happen to my sweet baby. Oh my gosh. Did you say there's a reward involved with this request? I'll just do it out of the goodness of my heart. She seems pretty nice but frazzled. Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. And if you find any of them iconoclast indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouth. Tell them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. How old is Tucker? Tucker's going to be like 45. I just know it. Like, she's got to be in her... She's got to be in her 60s, right? So he's going to be like 40 years old. 
All right. Well, let's head back over here, first of all. Not that one. Yeah, that's the one we want. All right, let's head over there. Did I just get lost? I think I did get lost. Oops. What if I can get through? Eh, probably not. I, I could cut through one of these buildings. Oh, that's right. We gotta go up through here. Stellar Bay. I'm half blind sometimes, guys. Alright, here we go. Give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. Yeah, don't. Got some bad news about Braxton. He's got his load on and I'm stuck covering his shift. Give her Braxton's ID. He's killed by cannibals out in the ruins. That's... Wow. I sure feel like an ass now. You should. Cheer up. Maybe now you can hire someone better. It's a rotten way to go. You definitely sound like one. You definitely sound like one. He's up. I'm running on a chronic shortage of sleep here. Still, it's good to know what happened to him. And that I ought to start looking for a replacement. Something else on your mind? No. I think that's it. Excuse me while I level up over here. Let's see here. Let's, uh... You guys want to knock up Persuade another... Get up to, uh... Get up to, uh, 80%? Yeah, let's give that a shot. There we go. We're up to 81 now with that. Not bad. Supply it. Alright, let's go, uh... What do you guys want to do next? Let's see here. Flowers. For Sebastian. We can knock that one out before an hour's up, I imagine. Doesn't seem too complicated. Famous last words. Let's go see if we can knock this one out real quick here. Hello, stranger. Can I interest you in a raptodon tongue? Or maybe some canid toenails? You look like a man who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts? Nope, just collected some. Let's talk about Celia. Uh, why would I want any of that? Yeah, why would I want any of that? I don't know. Celia usually buys whatever I have, and Mr. Pickett seemed real interested. So I thought maybe I was onto something. Mr. Pickett? Franklin Pickett from Edgewater? That's him. He'd been here years. But he always talked about going back to Edgewater one day. So he buys your stock because she likes you. Parvati? You know who he's talking about? Let's ask her. Sure. Mr. Pickett used to run the community center outside Edgewater. He had this grand idea to make it a museum for Halcyon life. Oh, yes. I read some of his messages. Mr. Pickett was always going on about getting a manta queen for the last display. He left the veil, gosh, years ago. He came to Stellar Bay years ago, just before the board cut us off. Ended up stuck here. He was always real interested in our monsters. Manta Queens, especially. Have you seen a Manta Queen? Because I just killed one. Sure. I think. Not in. I killed a Colossus. Hard to miss him. Can't be that that tough, though. Where have you seen one? Well, I could send you to the same place I sent Mr. Pickett. But I haven't seen him in a few weeks. To tell true, I'm starting to get a bit worried about him. Captain, can we look for him? I'd feel awful if somebody from home was in trouble and we didn't do nothing. Good God, Parvati. I'll tell you where I sent Mr. Pickett if you promise to look for him. Help him out if he's got himself in trouble. Fair deal? Okay, fine. Sure, I'll keep an eye out. If he's friend of Parvati's, I suppose I ought to, yeah. Thanks, Captain. All right, then. Leave town through the southern gate, the one right here, and head past the abandoned ruins. Last mana queen I saw was in the wilds out that ways could be Mr. Pickett still out there, too. All right, let's talk about Celia. I haven't seen her in a few days, but I've been meaning to ask her how that rapted on acid is working out. I hope it's working okay, because no one else really seems interested in this stuff. Would you consider going on a date with her? She likes you. She likes you. That's nice of you to say. I like her, too. She's interested. No, I mean she really likes you. 
and I gotta admire anyone with her passion for canid hides. But you don't have to butter me up. <laughs> Since you've got so much in common, maybe you should take her out. You idiot, I'm trying to tell you she wants to date you. You idiot. There we go. I see what's going on. She put you up to this so she could get a discount, hmm? Oh, no, that's not it at all. She's smitten with you. You smited her. Smote? Smote. Smoot? Don't get me wrong. I'd like to give her a discount. She's a real fine lady. Always talks nice and slow, so I understand. But if I give her one, I won't hardly make a bit. On account of no one else having any use for rapted on tongues. Persuade 30. Don't take my word for it. Spend some time with her. I promise she won't ask for a discount. She doesn't want a discount. She's attracted to you. Bribe. Consider a 654-bit discount. No. We're not doing that. They gotta have Persuade. You sound pretty sure. And she is awful nice. Give her a chance. Give yourself a chance. Take her someplace nice. Okay. I'll do it. Once her shift ends, we'll go someplace nice. Maybe to Chef Raymond's. That's the spirit, Sebastian. Be yourself. Between you and me, Captain... I'm not sure Miss Celia knows him too well, but we can hope, right? I want them to be happy. Oh, good God, Parvati. Why did I let you leave the spaceship? Everything's an extra effort with you. <sighs> Alright, let's go give her the good news. Jesus Christ. I'm never going to get my freaking colonists done frozen at this rate. I'm going to have to go on there and play freaking matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Have you talked to Sebastian yet? What did he say? He said he hates you. Leave him alone. All right, fine. He says he'll go on a date with you. Okay, but how did he say it? Did he sound excited? Oh, God. Or like he was just agreeing to it? Was he like, yay, a date with Celia. I've secretly been waiting for this. Or was it more, sure, I don't have anything else going on. He likes you, Celia. Just don't ask him for any discounts. Look, you got your chance. Have fun. Don't overthink it. All I know is that is if you act this crazy, you'll send him running. <laughs> uh, Yeah, don't ask for discounts. Not to worry. If I never buy another Raptodon tongue, it'll be too soon. Ah, look at me going on. I'm sure you've got other things to do, and Mr. Nandi's giving me that back to work look. Anyhow, thank you. All right, fine. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna end this episode here. We've uh, well, we murdered a cannibal family. We've got a couple young uh, lovers hooked up here. I think maybe for a date. And uh, now we're going to go try to find a missing museum director and a uh, man boy named T Tucker, I think. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. This is, as usual, been a, an awesome, awesome time for me playing this game and sharing it with you guys. Y'all take care.